after the Olivia Scarborough. Olivia, talk about you know coming in with that tight situation in game one and getting okay. Um, I was just going in there and doing my job. I don't really get uptight about pressure situations. I like them, so I was excited to go in there like that. And talk about you know what you're looking for. You know, starting off that bottom half of the inning with the home run and really kind of a big momentum boost for your team. Oh uh, yes, sir. I was just I went up to bat thinking see ball hit ball, and I was trying to do something for my team. And then talk about you know how how these two wins really help in you know starting off this homestand the right way. Yeah, it's a great momentum booster, and I'm ready to come out tomorrow and get two more. We're here with uh, shortstop Erica Nesbitt. Erica, just talk a little bit about you know your approach hitting the ball. You're able to see the ball hit the ball a lot today. Yeah, I mean, I'm coming off of a pretty decent weekend from Hawaii. And, I mean, I just came in with a positive attitude. I mean, and I'm trying to set the pace for the game, trying to do my job, get on, start off. And I just went in with a positive attitude, did my job, and started it off. Usually they're the ones scoring the runs for this team. Today you had a couple of RBIs, came up with a couple of runs on base, and able to come through in some key situations. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good to know that I'm not the only one that has to do work. I know, like... All other 21 players on the team have my back. That I know that I'm not the only one that has to do anything. I come through in pressure situations, but I know that I'm not the only one who has to work. And then talk about you know your play defensively. You know makes a couple of great snags out there defensively, kind of leading this team as, at the shortstop position. I mean, to me, I think that's my strongest point. I love playing. I love playing the game. I love playing shortstop, and I just know that. If I go out there and I do me and I do my job, then everybody feeds off of everybody and we just come out stronger as a whole. How important is to post these two wins and start off this tournament and this homestand on the right foot? I mean, it feels great. I mean, we came out here and we got our two wins and it just like, it's just a good start to the, I mean, it's a good start to the season period. I mean, we had a really good start to the season and then coming out and getting these wins and we're just going to jump out here, win this tournament and then continue on with our season. All right, Coach, talk about setting the tone of this tournament, getting started on the right foot here with two wins. Well, the girls came out and did the job that they needed to today. You know, we talked about uh, starting out quick, playing good defensively, getting a quality pitching effort in both games. You, know, you and I talked before the game about making our pitches, having productive at-bats, running the bases intelligently. And it was good progress, I think, in those areas. Coming off of uh, the time in, in Hawaii, we you know, did a better job of keeping the runs down on the other team, getting out of some difficult situations with some key pitches. Um, base running wise, I thought we looked uh, very good. We were very aggressive. We were getting great jumps. I thought offensively, although it was difficult for us to kind of get a feel for what the zone was at times, I, I thought the girls competed well, stayed positive. Even those who had some bad at-bats early on came through late. And so it was a good uh, sign of maturity with that. And then talk about, you know, top of the order kind of came through with some key hits for you guys with runners on base. The bottom of the order this, in these two games got on base, and Eric and Desmond had a couple of key hits. Bruce had a couple of key hits. Talk about their contributions in this game. Well, I think Erica said it well. Uh, we feel like we're sending nine good hitters to the plate. We never know who's going to be hot that particular night. I don't think anybody on our team feels pressure that it's on them. And so you know, it's just kind of fun to see who's going to come through that particular night. And usually there's two or three individuals who have good games, and hopefully they can string uh, those good at-bats together or they're close enough to each other that it makes something happen. But I think a lot of the girls have been grinding some at-bats out for walks and, and uh, you know putting some balls in play, allowing us to advance runners. We had a couple sack flies today. Got down a couple of bunts to move people, and all of that, you know, uh, contributes to team offense. And I, I really think that's what we're about. We're not about one or two people, but nine hitters. And talk about pitching. You got some great pitching today. Wayne Roberts went <coughs> four strong innings. Scarborough came in and, and sealed the deal for you guys. And even it got out of the bases loaded, Jan, and then came up and topped out the inning and, and hit a home run. Just talk about you know all that whole round combined pitching effort. Everyone saw action too. Right. Uh, it was better. I don't still think it's great, although I thought Olivia did a fantastic job when she came in in that bases loaded situation. Really proud of her there. She tends to be a ground ball pitcher, and that was what I needed in that situation. The girl who, who, who was up had hit a, a deep fly ball off of Courtney the previous time, and Courtney tends to give up fly balls. So we felt like it was the time to make that move. 
uh, for whatever reason, she just had a hard time locking into the zone that that umpire had in that particular game. So it was it ended up being a positive, and Olivia did her job. And then I thought Brittany Arn looked terrific the last inning of work, uh, but Julia was very solid. Really just one bad pitch, and um, otherwise a, a really clean game. She started getting some ground balls, which is something we want to see from her. And so all four of them did some, some good things and made some good progress from where they've been the last couple of weeks. Yeah, what's some of your keys going into tomorrow, you know, Mario, a doubleheader against Drexel and Morgan State? Yeah, I think they're two really fine opponents. They're both going to hit the ball well. I think they have quality pitching. You know, we're just going to have to worry about the things that we have control over, um, figure out who we're going to start tomorrow morning against Moorhead. Of course, they're 2-0 and and looking really good coming off uh, an eight-run Mercy win at Charlotte the day before and two really solid wins today. We got our hands cut out, our uh, work cut out for us. And then uh, Drexel, I think, is a real quality offense and defensive team as well. So got to make quality pitches, make the routine plays, and have productive at-bats.